Yo, what's up everyone? I'm doing vlog number 66. So, it is August 26th, about 5.30 p.m. My school got out at 12 o'clock. Um, today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, next day is Friday. All those days are half days, so I get out at 12. So, which is pretty awesome. So I wake up at 6, go to school, get back at 12, 6 hour, you know, school day. And then I get back and I have like 10 hours roughly to do stuff. Um, the last two hours are normally me consisti consisting of me being on the computer catching up on YouTube videos or designing or something like that, you know, because when the sun goes down, um, makes me kind of want to, I don't know, not go out and do too much because one, it's dark out and no one likes the dark. Um, so, big update. Got this huge whiteboard. There's a comparison. This is a two by three foot whiteboard that I believe is a one and a half by one and a half maybe a 16 inch by a 16 inch a little bit smaller um just got this in from Amazon got a marker there is some brackets here um I'm probably not going to use these I'm probably just going to use some sheetrock screws and let's see yeah so that came in Amazon Prime two days epic so the uh, let's see Thinking about where I'm going to put this, I'm thinking about either in my other room or, or maybe over here. Maybe. Not sure. Um, I could put it right behind the door. That way when the door is closed, I can look at it. And uh, that way from back here when I'm sitting at my desk, I can still see it. But I'd like to transfer all my goals onto this. Make it really big so I can really cross them out and... That just mentally helps me reach them because if I see a goal and I can just, boom, you know, see it, cross it out physically, know that, boom, that's done. I've been looking a lot into um, efficiency. I know I'm a very efficient person in general already, but I'd like to make myself even more efficient when it comes to getting stuff done. And, you know, let's say I want to design figure A and figure B. Now, I'll start off by looking which one do I like more type thing. Pick that one, work a little bit. When I get bored, I'll switch over to the other. That's not efficient because your brain has to readjust to that change. So if I can just stick with figure A until it's all the way done from buying the parts, assembling, printing, packaging, putting them on the website, selling them, shipping them, all that. Once I get all that done, then I can start figure B. And that's very efficient. Um, there's a lot of things I looked at online, YouTube videos of, and articles on how um, like business meetings are the most inefficient thing whatsoever. So definitely trying to be more efficient, basically making stuff faster for you guys, trying to make as much cool stuff as possible. I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cool ideas. Hopefully, now I'm not sure about this, but up here, we have my custom figures right, see why isn't it focusing, there we go, my customs here, I'd like to get at least this back row finished by the end of the year with figures. Now I have one, two, three planned, four, and then that's another three, I think we can do it. And up here you get a sneak peek at some new printed Minecraft blocks. So all that will be at Brick, BrickCon 2015. That's pretty much it. I also did get an eBay order. Let's see, how do I want to do this? eBay order. Um, I used a label sheet and I finally started doing the print your own label thing. I never understood how that works, which sounds kind of pathetic, but um, yeah, it actually is cheaper not to do that, but to do it the way I do it. But you know, because I'm paying like 30 cents a label sheet. Um, I got 100 of them for like 35 bucks. That's insanely expensive. So I'm going to have to try to find a cheaper source for that, probably get a label maker, then put the label maker over here. And I've yet to figure out how to use this thing. Then again, I tried it once, and I didn't really try, I just plugged it in and see if it would work. Which it didn't, because you probably have to download something. Hopefully it doesn't give me a virus. Um, yeah, so as far as school goes, first day, pretty easy, you know, it's kind of stressful, you know, getting all those stupid syllabuses and paperwork that you're parents have to sign and it's like can we just skip all of that junk and just start learning I mean not that you learn as much in school that you're actually going to use in real life but can we just start getting it over with type thing 
And um, so this whole week, half days. So hopefully I'll be able to get home, do some stuff. I'm going to go on a walk, walk my dog after this. I'm going to go do some molding because, go in here, this is all the guns I have right now. Minus a few, you know, scattered around, but this is basically what I have. So I got to fill all of these little guys up. Um, the ones that are low at least, you know, that's good. I have some extra in a bag for those. Those, that's good. I have extra in the bag. Um, these I need to make more of, but the problem is both these are on a sprue. So if I want to make this one, then I get that one. So then this one is just going to keep, I'm just going to have a huge overstock, which is not good. Um, random color. There's a lot of cool ones in here. I want to try to play around with more colors. Um, I got an overstock of those. Which isn't a bad thing, I just have extra. And when I mean overstock, I mean there's, I have more, like for example, the M21 EBR. See that right there? If we go in here, we go, where is it? Yeah, like there I have maybe 10 in an extra bag, and there I have a bunch of M16. So that's what I mean by overstock. Whoa, it's not a bad thing at all. Um, we have some smalls. I do want to do more on olive green because that's a more accurate color. Where is it? There we go. Looks really cool. All these are on the website. We got some Rick Arms helmets that I'm getting rid of. Rexes, tasers, glocks. I want to do more weapons packs. These are like the only M249s I have, so I got to get going on those. Same with the blue energy repeaters or plasma rifles. Um, SKSs are very popular. I really like those. Those turned out great. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I'm gonna go get some molding done. Walk the doge. I'll see you guys next time. And hopefully by tomorrow you'll see this thing up with some goals on it. And we can start knocking those goals out and making new ones. See you guys later. Peace out.